All right, ladies, let's talk. When it comes to fitness, strength training, and nutrition, most of the advice out there is built for men. It's like the whole industry just copy pasted what works for guys and handed it to us like, here you go, this should work for you too. But newsflash, we're not small men and our bodies, our hormones, our physiology, completely different. And yet for decades, the research on training, strength, endurance, and even nutrition has been overwhelmingly focused on men, leaving women to just figure it out for ourselves. Now that might not seem like a big deal at first, after all, muscles are muscles, right? Strength training is strength training. Nutrition is just about eating healthy and just hitting your macros. But if that were truly the case, then why is it that some weeks you feel like an absolute powerhouse in the gym, hitting personal records, feeling strong and capable, and then boom, other weeks, it feels like you're just dragging yourself through every single rep. Why is it that some days you can lift heavier, recover faster, and push harder, but on other days, everything just feels harder than it should? Have you ever noticed this? Have you ever thought about how your body feels different at different points in your cycle? Have you ever had a week where your motivation was through the roof, only to have it completely disappear a few days later for no reason? And have you ever wondered why your cravings seem to just spike out of nowhere, leaving you wanting carbs and sweets at certain times of the month? These fluctuations are not random. They are not just mood swings. They are hormonal shifts happening inside your body, directly impacting how you train, how you recover, and how you fuel your body. But here's the problem. Very few women are actually taught to pay attention to these shifts. And that's because for the longest time, most training and nutrition advice was built around the male hormonal system. The truth is, men's hormones follow a 24-hour cycle. Testosterone peaks in the morning, dips in the evening, and then resets again the next day. This means that for men, their energy, strength, and recovery stay relatively stable day after day. That's why strength training programs follow the same structure week after week. They're built for a hormonal system that does not fluctuate much. But for us, our hormones do not operate on a 24-hour cycle. They follow a monthly cycle. Estrogen rises and falls. Progesterone rises and falls. Our metabolism shifts. Our ability to recover changes. Our body's fuel preferences change. And this means that trying to follow a training and nutrition plan designed for men can actually work against us instead of for us. So why has no one been talking about this? That's the million dollar question. But the good news is that things are starting to change. More research is being done on female physiology and how it affects strength, endurance, muscle growth, and recovery. And that's exactly what we are going to break down in this series. This is going to be a multi-part deep dive into the science of training as women. We're going to break down the menstrual cycle phase by phase and explore how your hormones impact your performance, recovery, metabolism, and even your diet. We're going to look at the latest research, including studies that suggest that women may actually perform better when their training is aligned with their cycles. And over the next few videos, we're going to just break this down and uncover the secret to results driven science backed training that every woman needs to consider. And this is why understand your body, your unique physiology as a woman is the key to unlocking better results in your training. Now, the more you work with your hormones instead of fighting against them, the more consistent, sustainable, and effective your training will become. Now, if this is your first time here and you're hearing about this, you might be wondering, how do I start making these changes? How do I know if my hormones are helping or hurting my progress? Well, honey, guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and help you to figure that out. My name is Roxy Beckles. I'm a fitness coach, a bodybuilder, and your go-to for training smarter, eating better, and thriving at every stage of life. I've helped women from around the globe achieve their best bodies, from their 20s to their 50s and beyond, guiding them to build strength, gain confidence, and completely transform their physiques. These are just a few examples of the countless women I've helped over the years. And if you're watching this and you're ready to build muscle, reshape your physique, and feel stronger and more confident in your skin, it all starts with knowing your body. The first step to achieving the body you want is understanding how your hormones 
impact your progress. This is important for women of all ages, whether you're in your reproductive years or transitioning through menopause. Hormones dictate everything from how well you build muscle to how efficiently you burn fat to how quickly you recover from your workouts. And if you do not understand your hormones or how your body works, you could be unknowingly working against yourself instead of optimizing your results. That's why I created my free guide, Hormones Decoded. If you wanna start tracking your hormones and understand exactly how they're impacting your fitness, grab your copy now. Just go ahead and scan the QR code that you see on your screen or click the link down below in the description. One of the biggest studies currently underway is this study called the IMPACT study, a randomized controlled trial designed to test whether training at different phases of the menstrual cycle leads to measurable improvements in endurance and strength. The study is tracking 120 well-trained women between the ages of 18 and 35 and comparing three different training approaches. One group trains more intensely during the follicular phase, so that's days one to 14 when estrogen is rising. One group trains more intensely during the luteal phase, which is days 15 to 20 when progesterone is higher. And then one group follows a standard training program with no adjustments. This is one of the first large scale studies designed specifically to test whether periodizing training around the menstrual cycle improves athletic performance. The results of the study will help to shape future training recommendations for female athletes and active women. But while we wait for the final results, there have already been several smaller studies that suggest menstrual cycles do play a role in training adaptation. A 2020 study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that women recover faster and experience better muscle growth when training is focused in the follicular phase rather than the luteal phase. Researchers observed that higher estrogen levels in the first half of the cycle are linked to improved muscle protein synthesis, which means better muscle repair and recovery after workouts. Another 2022 study published in Sports Medicine analyzed female athletes and found that high intensity training is more effective in the follicular phase compared to the luteal phase. The researchers noted that progesterone, which is dominant in the second half of the cycle, has been shown to slow down muscle repair and increase inflammation, making it harder to recover from high intensity workouts. And it's not just strength training that is affected. Endurance performance is also influenced by the cycle. Research has shown that women tend to burn more carbohydrates for energy during the first half of the cycle and rely more on fat oxidation in the second half. This means that how you feel your workouts might need to shift depending on what phase of the cycle you're in. Now, despite these findings, there's still so much we don't fully understand about how the menstrual cycle affects training and nutrition. But one thing is clear. Our bodies do not respond to the training protocols in the way that men's bodies do. And if we wanna train smarter, perform better, and optimize our results, we need to stop following a one size fits all approach and start working with our bodies instead of against them. And you know, this is why understanding your own cycle, tracking your patterns and applying what we already know from research can help you to take your training to the next level. So instead of feeling like your progress is just unpredictable, instead of getting frustrated by energy dips and performance plateaus, you can start using science-based strategies to work with your body's natural rhythms. Now that we know why women have been left out of research for so long and what science is finally telling us about training and the menstrual cycle, the next step is to break down exactly how your cycle impacts your training, performance, and metabolism phase by phase so that you can start to apply this knowledge to your workouts right away. If you've ever wondered why some days you feel like you're on fire and other days you feel completely wiped out, honey, this next video is gonna answer all of your questions. And honey, trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss a single thing. So go ahead and click this video right over here to watch the next one and all the videos in this series. I'll go ahead and see you over there.